From this position, uh, he's going to use his leg to stop me from putting weight on top of him. You just push against me. Yeah. Not too much, just to... Yeah. From here, uh, if I try to pass, he controls the, the distance, right? So I can, I can put up my weight and expect him to pressure back from me. If he doesn't pressure back, I can pass. So, Andreas, he is wary of this, he has some pressure from the leg. Okay. From here now, simple entrance for leg go. And over to the side here to finish. Okay. He probably locks my foot like this, from right here, and I'm feeling his pressure, right? From here, this foot is coming up into here. Keep the leg here, just mm -hmm. yeah. Up and here. Then, over here. Heel, heel comes up to the hip, and then I push from underneath, I roll to my shoulder, and I use power for the submission. Yeah. From now, I would prefer to roll over to this shoulder to finish the submission. Is there any questions now? You want to try it first and we can ask details later? Yeah. We'll do this one more time slowly. Sure. you want to be a bit closer to the foot, right? Not to be up in the leg. Okay, so it's important that we both know the, the rules of the game. Not, not the rules, but the name of the game. If, if he is relaxed in this leg and offers no resistance, I'm going to pass his guard. Right? And he knows this. He's a, he's a talented grappler. Either is stopping the pass you want, or controlling the distance for me not to punch you. You know, he's controlling here. So if I punch, he can kick a little bit, and I lose the distance. So this game must be alive for the technique to work. He must have a, a kind of response here. And that makes me, when I'm low, it's very tight down here, there's no leg lock. So I, I go up, and here opens the space for me. Try to pass, try to find a way. Lift up. When I lift up, there is a way for my legs to come in the center. Okay? Again. Here. Low, no space. High up, I stand in good balance, good base on both legs. In here. Over here. And then. I throw this leg over top and I start rolling this way into the submission. Is there any questions about this submission here? You know it well? Yeah. You're confident with the technique? We did it a bit different. We didn't we push it up, we just cut just it. Just hold it, okay, yeah. yeah. It's different ways. You, you can do different way. Uh, I feel I feel powerful this way. I'm not so strong in my biceps or anything. I feel when I when I do this, it locks it tight in my armpit, so when I use my back, it's no, it's no spring, or how do you say? The English word is, is very... It's, uh, there's no space. Yeah, there's no... It's only a break. So be careful to, or be, be uh, careful to be really tight before you connect your back muscles. To be able to have as much power as possible when you need it. An example to how to do it wrong is to just hold and then go here and use the back and then use your hands. It's not very powerful. So better better to be really tight and then connect the back. 
feel it's easy, but if you feel it's hard to make the leg transition, then this is a tip that might help. This pressure from the leg is created by both men. If I'm not towards you, you're not going to pressure. So I lean on the leg on purpose here. Lift up. And now as I jump, I will put my balance in his leg. Because then I can move my legs relaxed without having to worry about gravity. Okay? So from here, I can just go up and I hang on the leg. You understand? Mm -hmm. Give your weight into the leg and then your own legs will be, will be free to move and more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Instead of this version, sitting on the legs and, and trying to jump and put them in place. Better to be here and then go. So now we're going to keep with the transition from here. And it looks like this. I have the leg. Everything is fine. I try to submit, but Andrea sits up on his hand, takes this hand here and push my foot off. And keep jumping over to the side. I'm going to go with the knee over the top. Knees up. Spread my base and I submit him face down instead. You just go to knee base and then you uh, how do you say spread oh, spread the knees out and keep the hip down. So I do the breakdown is only from here it's easy. He turns to the side push the foot off. So we're here. I try to go to the shoulder this look Step over here, step up on the knee, and turn the hip down. I see some guys now, they, they turn the leg over, but they, they're still sideways with the hip mm -hmm. or the back. Then you don't have gravity to help. Lift the hip over his leg, mm -hmm. so you can press down with your body weight. Okay? So you have to, you go here, you lose the leg, you turn the hip up. Quickly, hip up and then sprawl down. Sprawl down. Mm -hmm.